The flashing red beacon of the Coney Island Lighthouse played a big part in my childhood. I watched it at a distance from my bedroom window each night before going to sleep. It was predictable and reassuring, and I dreamed of bathing in its warm red light, soothed by the sound of foghorns and ocean surf. The lighthouse was built in 1890 on a leveled sand dune at Norton's Point. A few years later, the private community of Seagate sprang up around it and the lighthouse became hidden from the public. Even to this day, many people don't even know it exists. I would visit the lighthouse on hot summer days and in the dead of winter. The last time I met Frank Schubert, the lighthouse keeper, I photographed him in front of the keeper's house and told him that I'd seen an old picture of him in a magazine with his arm around the light beacon. He was bathed in red light. I told him that I used to dream about doing that as a kid and he laughed and said, maybe someday you will. And then he was gone. Frank Schubert, America's last civilian lighthouse keeper, died in 2003. I never forgot that childhood dream and a few years later Frank's grandson helped me make that dream come true. staircase and stared into the glowing red eye of my youth. <laughs> <laughs>